I want to beg understanding from all Bulldog Nation. And just so you know, my relentless pounding of my father and Kenny Bach has a very legitimate purpose. And I just want you all to bear with me. I at least promise you as I continue to tell these stories, which are our highest watched videos, that I'll continue to share new and original information. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I had a conversation with a former member of the, that worked on the Bindi farm last night, and this was hysterical. Uh, remember when I told you about my father and Jeremy stealing car wash money from the company um, and using this cash? This guy told me that Kenny Bach also often had in his glove compartment $1 bills and envelopes. See, the car wash money, they divided it up in $1 and $5 bills uh, that they would use to, to uh, so funny, to buy beer. Uh, some more information. He uh, had a fling with a girl that he used the cover of the horse sale. And apparently, Carolyn Bach knew all about it. But my dad lied for Kenny. In other words, see how they keep their little gay secrets? And they, that's the way they do. They protect each other. Apparently, you need to be on guard if you're at Logan Steakhouse on Houston Road. That apparently is where Kenny hangs out. Uh, I've heard that Kenny hasn't been working on the farm. Maybe I have forced him to retirement. I don't know. Because I'm sure that they're, him and dad are having one of their gay uh, fights. Um, allegedly, and I've got some pretty good sources of this because people have seen it, my dad, not only does Kenny get paid for working on the farm, my dad pays his bills. <laughs> you can't make this up. Dad pays his, pays, paid his insurance, his electric bill, apparently even his cable bill. <laughs> and by the way, I want to say something about that. I'm sorry, but I've got to say this. When my sister Sarah was battling cancer, she took a couple thousand dollars, just a couple thousand dollar bills to my dad to be paid, and my dad refused to pay him. Remember I was telling you about how my dad doesn't love anybody? He would not pay a few thousand dollar bills of my sister who was battling cancer. Fact. Um, this is a great one. And I don't, this is just part of their little gay thing. Dad apparently told this person that Kenny was well endowed, to which this person told me, how the hell does Charlie know about that? What's relevance about that? Now, of course, that's his, that's his little lover um, talking about him. Of course, that's not the news that I got from the woman that had the flame with him that said it was the smallest willy whacker she'd ever seen. So I think my dad was trying to ingratiate himself with, with Kenny. Because remember, and by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little intriguing here. The woman who told me this, everybody, and Kenny and Carolyn, lived on Banklick Road. So now you know who it is. Uh, Sean Martin, this is hilarious. Sean Martin is my dad and Jeremy's partner in Sugar Ridge. Kenny, because he's not included in it, makes fun of it and calls it Candyland. Sean Martin had a fling with the farm secretary that Kenny sexually assaulted. And it caused all kinds of problems because Kenny pouted so bad that she chose... Sean over him that Kenny tried to make Sean's life miserable and Sean almost quit and there was dad in the middle of the whole thing but Kenny was pouting that the farm secretary rebuffed him and chose somebody else 
And it caused all kinds of problems. Kenny. Hey, Charlie. Go do something about this. And then that woman was all of a sudden damaged goods because she didn't choose Kenny. By the way, bring on the lawsuits for slander, defamation. I welcome them. Uh, I dare you. A uh, couple other things I just have to share with you because it relates to some of you people who might think, God, you know, do that. First, I want to tell you something. You know how I made it? I made it by busting my balls and having guts and creativity. It had nothing to do with my dad. I was stuck joining my dad's lousy law firm fresh out of law school out of loyalty. Thank God at 35, I got the hell out of that goddamn law firm and started my own law firm. I've done every, my dad, other than a loan, which by the way, it was a fraction of the, of the money, which he was paid back, had nothing to do with my success. Nothing. And the other thing I got to share with you, all you Durrani clients, oh my God, the stories I'm going to share. My dad didn't want to do 90% of the hard-hitting things that we did. He, he was even chicken to sign the affidavits of disqualification against O'Connor and Schweiker. And the other thing that he always wanted, Eric, why don't you be nicer? Why don't you be nicer to these people? Yeah, we tried that in the beginning, being nice to the Durrani folks. You know, if some, if, if, when they're your opponent and they like you, they like you because you're doing what they want you to do. See, Dad came from that defense law mentality. So there's some fun stuff where I can go all day. To quote Vince Vaughn and Wedding Crashers, I can go all day. I can go all day. But I'll just wait till tomorrow to give you some more. And by the way, I got to add this. Um, somebody told me, I don't pick on the family members, but I got to pick on one. Carolyn Bach. I lived out here. Now, remember, the age discrepancy when Kenny got divorced. Um, I think I'm going to subpoena Altigail's first wife. She ought to have some stories. Kenny Bach got divorced from Altigail. And uh, Carolyn was introduced to Kenny by his little sister. Like, huge age difference. Like, 20-some-odd freaking years. So, for the last 30-some-odd years out here in this community... You, I, you, you can run, and by the way, and I know you all agree this, you can run into Carolyn Bach and she'll look the other way and not to say a damn word to you. She's the biggest snoot. Like, she's something special. It is a hoot. She is the wife of a sexual rapist, assaulter, and sexual deviant. And my sources tell me that somebody that knows the family close says, she won't get divorced because she doesn't want to affect their financials anyway, any way, shape, or form. I asked, I asked my wife, by the way, I'm a sinner not saying, I asked my wife, I said, if I, you found out that I molested a 12-year-old and raped a, a babysitter, would you stay married to me? She goes, hell no. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Kenny, Charlie, hope you have another rotten day.